MasterStudy LMS is a popular WordPress LMS plugin. With this, you can create your e-learning site and sell online courses. In this video, we will show you an overview of how to use MasterStudy LMS. We are going to use the official live demo. Before we check out the back end of this plugin, we are going to see the front end. That is also provided by this demo. Now, although the design actually depends on what theme you're using, but we are still going to check out this website and see how the front end is designed. So it will give us an idea on Master Study. So this is the demo provided by Master Study LMS. And we can see there are some courses. So let's take a look at the courses page. Here are some of the courses. We can see there are some course categories over here. Status, level, which is from beginner, intermediate, and advanced ratings, the instructors, and we can also cycle through the price. So these are the courses. We can see there are some paid courses and free courses as well. All right, so this is a free course. We can see the title of the course is over here. Students can start this course by clicking on this button. They can also buy for group, and we can see the course details are shown over here. The featured image of this course and some more descriptions. So let's actually take a look at the back end of this plugin and actually find out how we can create course, how we can add quizzes, certificates, add course details, and how we can monetize this course. So the back end access that we are given, we can see these options are there. So the master study LMS is over here. So if we click on it, it's going to expand all the master study settings, options, and features for us. So we can see there are so much options over here, but we are actually going to start with the courses. So let's take a look at the course builder first. We're going to click on courses and we can add a new course just by clicking on this button. So let's click on add a new course and see how the course builder looks like. Great, so here we can start building our course. We can add our course name. We can add a course URL, choose a category or add a category. We can choose a level and then we can also select an image. So let's go ahead and create a test course, for example, just to see how this works. All right, we have named our course test course and we can also choose a category from here or we can add a category if we want. So let's add a test category. We also have the option to attach it to a parent category, but we are not going to do that. So let's just add this category and it's been created. Great. We can also choose any level. So let's choose a beginner level and let's add an image that's already in the media library. All right, now we can click on create. And this will create the course and it brings us to the course builder. This is the course builder of Master Study LMS. We can see that there are a few options over here, the curriculum, the drip option, settings, pricing, FAQ, and notice. On the side, we can see there's the curriculum tab. Here we can create sections. By clicking on this new section button, we can add a section. But by default, we can see that a section is already created and it's asking us to name it. So let's go ahead and add a section name. We're going to call it section one just for this demonstration. And then we're going to hit enter on keyboard. Okay, so that is how we can create a section. Now we have three sections and if we want, we can drag and drop these anywhere. Okay, so we can rearrange the sections. Now within these sections, we can also add lessons. So if we click on this button, so we can choose what type of lesson we want to add. We can either add text lesson, video lesson, audio lesson, stream lesson, Zoom and Google Meet lessons. So for online live classes, we have these options. But what happens if we add a text lesson? Okay, so we can add a text-based lesson from here. We can add a lesson name first. We can add a lesson duration. And then we can add a short description over here. So let's go ahead and add some description and see how it looks like. All right, we added some short description and lesson content as well. We can also include lesson materials from here. So if we browse files, we will be able to choose any documents or any files. Of course, we don't have any of those available over here. So the demo site doesn't give us any uh, documents or videos. So let's close this up. And this is our text lesson. We can also see there's a Q and A section. So let's read over here. Add a lesson first. You'll need to create a lesson before editing the Q&A section. Once the lesson is created, you can manage the questions and answers. Okay, that's fair enough. We actually haven't created this lesson. We just added this. You can see it says draft over here. So let's go ahead and create this lesson. Okay, so we have our first lesson created in our section one. Now, if we click on the Q&A, 
here we have the ability to add some questions. So let's go ahead and add a demo question. So we just added a demo question. We're going to click on submit. So it added a comment and we can also reply or edit this as we want. So that is how we can add Q&A to our lessons. Now in this way, we can add more lessons, I believe. We can add video lessons. So the video lesson has been created. We can see the icon is also different. The text based lesson has a different icon and the video lesson has a different icon. From here, we can add a lesson name and we can select a source type for our video. So we can add HTML MP4. We can also select YouTube, Vimeo, external link. We can add external link URL from here. We can also select embedded or shortcode. So if we select YouTube, we will have the chance to add a YouTube video URL. If we select Vimeo, we have the option to add Vimeo video URL. In this way, we can add in our videos for our lessons. So of course, we don't have any video prepared for this lesson, so we cannot add it. But let's go ahead and see the audio lesson. So if we select the audio lesson, we can see it's a different icon and the builder is similar, but it's giving us the option to add audios now. And now let's check the stream lesson. In this case, we can add a stream URL. We can select start date, end date. We can also select the start time and end time from here as well. So what if we want to add a Zoom lesson? Of course, we have the option to add the meeting password. We can allow participants to join at any time host video, participants video. So we have all these Zoom options over here. Great, in this way, we can add a lot of content. So what if we want to add a quiz? We have to insert a quiz name. So let's go ahead and add a quiz name. All right, so that is how we can add a quiz. And this is simply a quiz builder over here. We can see there's the question option and the question bank option. So these are two options over here. And here we can see the questions library. So if we click on question bank, what happens is it opens up a bank name. We can select a number of questions that will be within this question bank. We can see there's a message over here. It says this type of question is not a question in itself. A bank is just a group of questions from a certain category. Questions from this category will be shown in a separate block with the group name you will write below. Okay, so this is not a question itself, but a bank. So we have to select a certain category and then we can enter a bank name and the number of questions that will be added over here. So we are going to remove this. So that's a neat little feature. We can also take a look at the question library. And from here, we can see there are a lot of questions that we can add over here. But if we want to create a question, we can click over here and it gives us a lot of question category or question types, such as the single choice, multiple choice, true, false, matching, image matching, keywords, and fill in the gaps. So in this way, we can add questions. So we can write our question over here, and then we can choose if the answer is true or false. So let's actually bring in a question from the library to see how this works. So let's select this question and let's add it. Okay, so this is a single choice question we can see from here. So the question is over here, the options are given over here, and the answer, this is the correct answer. And we can also add explanation to this answer if we want. Now, this is how the course builder works. Now, let's take a look at one of the demo courses that's already created. So let's actually edit this course. Oh, and it opens up this builder over here. Let's click on edit with course builder. So this course has two sections and it has text based lessons. We can see a quiz over here with some questions. So this is how a course looks when you create it from the back end. So this is the course builder of Master Study LMS. Now let's take a look at the drip settings. Now content drip is a feature that you can use to control how your students can access your course content. So normally what we want students to do is go through the course sequentially. So section one, lesson one, and after they complete lesson one, they can access lesson two. And after they complete lesson two, they can take the quiz. And upon finishing this, they can take the section two. So normally that's what we do for drip content. So here it's allowing us to create dependencies. So if we click on this button here, we can add in our dependencies. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this lesson over here. Then we can drag this other lesson over here. And now you can see there's an arrow over here. That means it's pointing to the dependency. In order to access this lesson, student must complete this lesson. Now we can add another quiz over here and this is how we can create dependencies. Now we can click on add dependency again and we can add other dependencies like so. So that is how we can create drip content dependencies in the course builder. Now there are more drip content settings in the backend 
Let's check this out. The lock lessons in order lock lesson till its start time. So both are very important. If we enable the lock lessons in order, what will happen is the lessons will be locked in a course so that students can only access them sequentially one after another. Normally, if you are creating an online course, this is the feature that you want. So just by enabling this one option, your content rip feature will be enabled. We can also lock lesson till its start time. So we can add a start time. So when the start time reaches, the students will be able to access the lesson only then and not before. So these are the content rip features of Master Study. Now to customize the settings of our course, we can do it through through the settings tab in the course builder. So let's head over there. And here we can add in course name, URL, category we can choose from here. We can choose the level, the owner of the course. We can also add a co-instructor. We can add an image. We can also choose a video preview for our course, course duration, and we can add description. We can also add course preview description, course status, start date, end date, current students, course views, and so many more options. We can also click on the access tab over here. We can choose the access method of this course. So we can add a trial course. We can add a time limit to this course. We can add upcoming course status from here. Prerequisites, if we want, we can also add a prerequisite to our course. So uh, the prerequisite passing percentage. So students have to at least achieve 80% marks. In order to uh, complete this course, we can also choose what other courses the students must complete in order to take this course. Course files, if we click over here, we can add course files. So if we browse and select documents, we can add course files from here. We can also choose a certificate for our course. Master Study also gives us 10 certificate templates that we can use for our course. It also has a certificate builder, so you can create your own certificate or customize any of these templates to build your own certificate. We'll take a look at that later on. In the course page, we can select how this course will be displayed. So there are a lot of options. The default option, this is what we saw in the beginning when we were viewing the course. We can take a look at the classic design, the modern, timeless. So there are various options of how you want to display your course. In the pricing tab, we can add a price to this course. So this is a one-time purchase. This is the price. We can also add a sale price if there's a discount going on. We can also choose a start date and end date of the sale price. And there's the enterprise price as well. We can also choose not to include in membership affiliate this course. So what will happen if we enable affiliate this course is there will be a button. And when students click on this button, such as purchase this course, they will be redirected to the link you have added over here. And we can also add points and price info. And the next option is the FAQ we can create FAQ, so add some FAQs, so students will be able to get answers to some commonly asked questions. And if we go to the notice section here, we can add different notice for this course. So that's basically how the course builder of Master Study LMS works. Now we have tutorial on how you can create courses with Master Study, how you can create quizzes with Master Study. We will put the link of those tutorials in the video description if you guys want to learn more about this. Now let's actually take a look at the payment gateways of Master Study. If we go to the settings over here, here we can find an option called payment methods. From here we can see there are a couple of options. The offline payment is over here. We can use the wire transfer. In that case, we have to add an account number, holder name, bank name, Swift, payment method description. We can also use PayPal and Stripe. So when we connect these, we can use these as payment gateways. Now you can see there are more options over here. For example, for courses, if we select over here, we can see the course page, how the course page layout will be, course per row, course per page. So all these options are over here. We can customize this however we want. We can also take a look at the course settings. Here we can choose a style for our course page. We can uh, select course reviews, default tab, emoji in quiz and assignments. There are so many detailed options over here. And if we take a look at the course player, we can choose how the course player will look like. The default theme is light. We can switch between light and dark. We can use theme fonts. We can decide if we want to show the brand icon in the navigation. So all these options are over here. There's also the reports and analytics option over here. So if we scroll down, we can find the reports and analytics over here. And here we can find the analytics of our LMS website. We can see the revenue, we can see the courses, bundles, orders, all the options are showing up over here. There's the graph and charts for everything and the details are also here. We can choose from courses, groups or bundles. We can see the details from here. All right, so that's for the analytics. Now there's also the certificates option. 
If we take a look at here, we can see there are the certificates. We can also add a new certificate by clicking on this add new button. And here this will open up the certificate builder. We can customize these certificates or we can start from scratch. It's up to us. We can add the elements from this right hand side such as texts, images, shapes, certificate code, QR code, we can add all these information, course name, details, progress, all of this information we can add over here. We can also add images. So this image is over here. Then we can drag and drop it in anywhere we want. Then we can click on it and add an image for our certificate. So we can use this to add signatures as well. So let's remove this. We can also add our custom background from here. So that's the certificate builder of Master Study LMS. Now we can also create a site-wide subscription for our courses. In this demo site that Master Study LMS has given us, we can use the paid membership pro plugin to create memberships for our courses. We can see the dashboard over here. And if you have any experience with this plugin, you can of course turn your website into membership and sell subscriptions using that. Master Study has also a lot of add-ons that we can use for our LMS. LMS website. In the add-on section, we can see there's a label called Pro. That means these add-ons are only available in the Pro version or the paid version of Master Study LMS. We can see the add-ons include features such as Certificate Builder, Email Manager, Email Branding, LMS Forms Editor. We have the Zoom Conference add-on, Google Meet, Assignments, Drip Content, Group Courses, Live Streaming, course bundle so you can bundle together courses and sell them as one you can create the point system media file manager SCORM, and so many more options you can see you have the udemy importer as well so in case we need some extra features we can go to the add-on section and find the add-on that we are looking for. Now let's take a look at the pricing of master study so this is the master study uh, website we're going to go to the pricing section and we can see that Master Study has two types of plan, the annual and lifetime. Let's take a look at the annual plans first. So the first plan is free. With it, you get a free license, free updates, community support, and a starter theme. The next plan is the single site, which is available for $169. But with a discount, we can get it for $99 per year. This gives us one site license, update for one year, priority ticket support, and a starter template. The next plan is the five sites plan, and this is very popular. This is available for normally $299, but with a discount, it's available for $239 per year. It gives us five site licenses. And finally, the unlimited plan, it's the developer plans. This is normally available for $499 per year, but with a discount, it's now available for $419. And this gives us unlimited site licenses. We can also get lifetime plans. And these are the one-time payments, so you pay for these plan only once. So there's also a 14 days money back guarantee as well. And Master Study actually provides us with a lot of features and add-ons. And through these add-ons, we get so many important features as you have seen. So there's a good reason why you might want to get the paid version of this plugin. So that brings us to the end of this video. We hope that this was helpful for you. If you guys want to get Master Study LMS, you can see our description for a link and let us know what you think about Master Study in the comment section. So thank you for watching. See you next time.